Hey, it's David here at PDF Automation Station. Here's a shop drawing submittal review stamp, one of our most popular. We just created this order form so that you can customize this 15 different ways and send it to us and we'll send it back within 24 hours. Make sure the order number is correct and make sure the email, your email address is correct here because that's where we're sending this back after you send us the order form. We're going to start with colors. There's three colors you can change. There's this blue text color throughout. There's the fill-in field text. That's wherever it says sample text here. And there's also the background. The background right now is transparent. It looks white because the page is white, uh, but it's actually transparent. And if you look at number three here, you'll see a white circle on black. That means it's transparent. If you want your stamp to remain transparent, just don't touch this one. Just leave it the way it is. So let's change the um, this blue color here. What you do is you right click the circle, select properties, click fill color, the square right here. And you can pick any of these colors or you can click other color and then choose any color in the spectrum here. I'm going to go something like a, like a gold color, almost. Let's put some more. Yeah, that's just there. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to click OK. OK again, and you see it change here. Nothing's changed here yet because I have to click this Set Colors button. But I'm just going to wait until... Actually, let's do that now. Just so I can see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's change the sample text. Why don't we go with, with this blue color. And instead of transparent, I'm going to put a, a color in the background. Let's just do a, a really light uh, gray color like that. And OK, so I'll click Set Colors. And it's telling me that I've chosen a background color so this stamp will not be transparent and asking if I want to continue yes so that's exactly what the stamp's going to look like and that's the actual size let's change this color again just so you can see when we go with this orange color here I'll click OK I'll click set colors I'll click yes and that's what it looks like now Let's go with a different font color. Let's go with that one. Set color, yes. Okay. Once you're happy with the way it looks, you can move on. You can change the heading, shop drawing, submittal review. What if we don't want shop drawing? Let's just delete that for an example. And you see it change there. We can change the checkbox properties or labels I should say it looks like approved doesn't kind of line up with the rest of them so I'm just going to change that to reviewed instead and you see it change there this would be your company name that's a mandatory field that would be your company address so that's number seven and eight here this date field, when you apply the dynamic stamp, it will automatically insert today's date, whatever that may be. But you can select the format with this number nine here. So if I click this drop down, it's going to show me a bunch of different date formats. And every other one also has a time. So you can add the time to any of these date formats. Just select whatever one you want. Let's just leave it there. Nothing's going to change here, but that will be the format used when your dynamic stamp is created. Do you want to over have the ability to overwrite that date field? That's what this means. Defaulted to no, which means it'll just keep putting today's date in when you apply the stamp. If you want to have the ability to change that date, even though it's defaulted to today's date, then you would select yes. And that gives you that ability to overwrite the date. You also need a stamp category and a stamp name. And that's strictly for identifying it in the stamp uh, menu. 
So here's all the categories. And when you hover on those, those are the names. See that? Um, see this? A lot of people don't know about this. Show stamp names. That's why you're seeing the names. If I uncheck that, you're going to see um, images instead of names. See? Yeah. All right. So that's what that is. That's category. That's stamp name. This is for the buy field. See right here, it says buy, buy whoever. If you leave it at manual data entry, you'll have to type a name in there each time you apply the stamp. If you select name, it'll grab the name from the, Ado uh, the Adobe identity from the toolbar under edit preferences identity. If you select login, it's gonna insert your computer login name into there every time <clears throat> that you apply that stamp. Number 14 is I can change the font of the, the fill-in text here, that sample text. Why don't we go with Arial Bold? You didn't see that, but there's a lot more. There's all of these, you know, they're just mostly standard fonts, but let's change that to bold and take a look. Okay. And you can also change the border thickness to either one or two. It's at one right now. If I click two, it gets a bit thicker. See that? All right. And the last thing is the stamp message. That's your main text here. And you want to make sure you don't put too much, but you might want to change the wording of this to your own uh, disclaimer or whatever. Um, so all you do is, you know, just start typing in here, whatever. I'll just type something random and See, you take a look there. I'll just put that back. There. It's ready to go now once it looks the way you want it. Maybe you look at that and you say, you know what, I, I don't like the color of that text, so let's, let's change that blue. Okay, set colors, yes. And there's my blue text. And maybe you want to get rid of that background and just make that transparent. So right click properties. To make it transparent, just select no color at the top here. Click OK, click set colors, and that's how it will look now. As soon as you're ready, just hit submit, and we will return you a custom built fillable dynamic stamp within 24 hours. There's a lot more stamps coming. This is number one. This is the first customizable stamp. If you want to be informed, uh, when we come out with the rest, just go to the website, pdfautomationstation.com, and sign up for the newsletter. Thanks for watching.